what's going on YouTube? It's your girl Moon Goddess Camera back at it again with another video for you guys. I apologize for the lighting right now, but I am shooting this at night and the lighting in here is really bad. I should probably replace the light bulbs, but I honestly don't want to. But anyway, for this video, I want to show you guys a couple of things I picked up from GameStop, so stay tuned. I said I picked up a few things from GameStop spent a lot more than what I was intending to spend at GameStop yesterday technically yes it was yesterday <clears throat> so as you know the Bayonetta Pops did come out today or not today but yesterday and thankfully I happen to know the person who's the manager of the GameStop where I'm at and I just happened to ask him if he had gotten them in or anything like that. He said no. He's like, but he's know that they're coming in because he heard about them coming in. And I just so happened to be working at the time. And I, I always go into all the different stores just to check on the tenants to make sure everything's good, to get a good relationship with the tenants and security is what I do, is what we're supposed to do. So I try to hold up my end of the deal on that one. But as I walked in, he did tell me that they came in, that I could purchase one. He only got like two or three in. And while doing that, I ended up seeing two, well, one other pop that I wanted. But him being who he is and he's great at upselling, he got me to buy another one with it. So all in all, I probably spent close to 50 something odd dollars at GameStop. But, without further ado, let us get into it. Alright, so the first one I'm going to show you guys is the Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness pop that I did pick up from GameStop. It's not a GameStop exclusive, obviously, because it doesn't have a sticker. But I did see it there. It was chilling behind the counter because they hadn't put it out yet. Because like I said, I went in there pretty early just to check out what they had before everybody decided to come in. Because, you know, summer vacation, kids are on break. Parents drop their kids off and they leave them at the mall for like eight hours straight. Why? I don't know, but that is what they do. But I did see this pop and I decided to pick it up because even though I have like the two that I got of the Marvel Core Mystery Box uh, that I already showed you guys in the previous video, I, I decided to pick up another one that's more on the norm, I guess you could say, when it comes to Doctor Strange. But yes, so they only had like two of these, I want to say. So I ended up picking this one up to add to my collection. Now the second one I want to show you is what I wasn't expecting them to have, but they did have. Because I know FYE had gotten them in, but they were already gone. Because, I mean, if no one had bought it, I would have questioned people just like I did for why they left the chase for a shredder. Just chill on the FYE uh, shelf after they had already moved it and looked around at other pops. But you know what? It helped me on the end because I was able to get that chase. But speaking of chases, I would like to show you the Doctor Strange Mad Madness of the Multiverse chase. Yes, this is what I saw when I was in there originally. And I was like talking to the manager about games and movies and stuff like that. We always tend to nerd out whenever I go in there, which I'm completely okay with because massive nerd. But I happened to see this out the corner of my eye and I wasn't 100% sure if it was the chase or not. So as he was helping a customer, I kind of just, you know, sneaked my way on over to go ahead and check it out. And sure enough, it was the chase. And I was like, you know what? Might as well grab that one for me. I'm going to take it for myself. He was like, you know, I was going to get it for, them, for, the, uh, for the missus, but they already got theirs. So he's like, you can have this one. I was like bet I'm gonna take that one right there I'm actually I'm actually gonna take this one out of the box real quick just to see what it looks like up close and personal and since I know it's pretty much the same as the original one that I just showed you guys I don't even take that one out of the box but let's see here we go let's put that off to the side all right there we are so there it is there is the chase for you guys all blue now I have seen the movie I finally did see the movie really freaking good I give them props on that they really did a really good job 
but you have the full blue Doctor Strange. I actually like the uh, the cape from, you know, uh, Sinister Strange, you know, when he gets the third eye kind of deal going on. I think that's pretty freaking cool. But yes, this is an awesome freaking pop. I'm very glad that I happened to walk in a box lunch at the time and that they had got it in, actually. Because it's a chase that I wanted, but I wasn't going to go out of my way to like seek it like it's one of those things where i'm just kind of like if i see it i see it if i don't i don't kind of do but yes i am quite happy to have this one to my collection not quite sure if i'll put this one out of box or not because i'm starting to think more along the lines of putting my pops out of box but i don't know we'll see how that goes but let me just oh it comes with a stand didn't know it came with a stand it comes with a stand but, yeah, we'll see what happens on that one. There we go. Alright, now it's for the meat and potatoes of this video. Let me get this out for you real quick. Because it's still, it's still in the box in which it came in. But as you can see, it's Bayonetta. Boom. Now, I don't know all that's in it. It's a nice, hefty size box. You know, it's got a, it's got weight to it. But this is the main reason why I went into GameStop. Because like I said, the manager did let me know they had got two in. And if I was interested, I can come on down to get it. And I was very thankful for, for him for doing that for me. Because he honestly, I forgot about it until I brought it up just to... It was just out of like a curiosity to see if they got it or if he knew when they were getting it in. And it just so happened that that day he checked his shipment and boom, they were getting it. So I kind of lucked out. Very happy. And if you guys want to be upset or say that, you know, I'm, I got inside information or I'm doing something wrong to get these pops early, I guarantee you that I'm not. It doesn't happen often. Like, it's a very rare, rare thing for it to happen for me, to be completely honest. It's just, as of this one, and then the Naruto and Toad were, like, the only two that I was able to actually, well, the Chase and, what was it, the Britney Spears Chase? But they had, like, five of those, so... There was, so anybody could have got that. Like, they, they had a ton of those. The Supreme Chase, that just happened to be there. They were putting it out that day. I just happened to have gotten it. But, this is the box right here for you guys. So you got Bayonetta right there. I don't know, oh, it's a glare. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yes, you have Bayonetta. It's a GameStop exclusive. So it's pretty cool. I'm very, like, I wish I had another one so I'd have to take this out of box. But, I'm going to because I really want to see what it looks like. We're just going to be careful opening this because I don't want to make any marks on the actual box. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, so it's Bayonetta Bloody Fate. Now, this is going to be pretty awesome. I'm very excited they actually made, made a Bayonetta pop. I know a lot of people are thinking that because they made Bayonetta, who is in Super Smash Brothers. Great game. Love playing as her. She is not my main, though. My main when it comes to Super Smash Brothers, ironically enough, people might find it funny, is going to be Meta Knight. I love using Meta Knight when I play Smash. And then, I want to say my second favorite is Ike. Like, I use those two for the most part, and then I'll switch out with other ones here and there, just, just to give myself a variety. But when they got Bayonetta in there, I was all for it. But Bayonetta is not a Nintendo license. It is still Sega. Even though I'm fairly sure Nintendo's going to end up buying it out at some point. Oh. Well, we got quite a few things happening on here. Now, I will make the disclaimer that I have played Bayonetta 1. Me and my friend, when it first came out, we kind of played, we tag teamed it together. Because at the time, we both couldn't afford certain games. So he would buy a game or I'll buy another game. And we kind of just go back and forth. And we would play it at each other's house. It worked out pretty well. So, I've played the first one, but I haven't played it since it first came out. Never got around to actually playing the second one like I wanted to, just because 
I didn't play the Wii or the Wii U as much as I thought I was going to because at the time I was in college just didn't have that time and now it's in storage in California and I have no way of getting to it so there's that but the first one we have right now was going to be the little plush right here that we got it's pretty cool honestly my fiance is probably going to want to take this because this is more along her at her uh, up her alley on things that she likes with her being you know the uh the gothic one in the relationship not that it's a bad thing love her to death but this is probably more along her lines because she loves things like this. She loves like the spooky dolls and the voodoo dolls and stuff like that. So I'll probably end up giving this to her because I have no need for it. I'm not a big plushy stuffed animal type person. It's just not my thing. And then the next one that we got. Oh, oh, okay. Well, it's in a, it's in a nice little baggie. Let me take that out real quick. <clears throat> And I'm sorry for like how my energy is, guys, but like I said, it's it's nighttime. I want to say, what time is it? Let me check. It's 11, 12. After this, I got to go to sleep because I got to get up at 6 in the morning to get ready for work. So I'm, I'm very tired. I just already worked. I got up 6 today to work. So, you know, I'm kind of tired. Energy's kind of down. And I truly, truly apologize for that. But the next thing we have is going to be this nice little, it's not really a keychain, but... You know, it's kind of like this keychain that you can put on your key. I already have too many things on my key and on my uh, lounge fly bag. So this is probably not going to go on there, but it does look pretty cool. If you can see it pretty well. I, like I said, you know, the uh, lighting is here is horrible. My camera's trying to focus. But that's actually pretty cool. I don't know what I'm going to do with it as of right now. But I'm sure I'll find something out. Or I can just... Uh, Hang it up on my bookshelf, like, uh, because that's what my fiance has kind of been doing with the, uh, Sailor Moon Pops, if, Pocket Pops, if you can see those. She's kind of been hanging them up on the, uh, bookshelf, which I'm probably going to end up doing with this right here, because like I said, this is pretty cool. So, almost reminds me of a little bit of, a uh, Sailor Moon, but not quite, because, you know, Sailor Moon has kind of like a pocket watch like this, where it's very bright and vibrant, but it kind of gives me that vibe. Ooh, I didn't mean that. It just kind of fell off the, uh, the plush right there. So, we got three more things. Three more things in this box. Let's see what we got. So, from here, oh. Oh, nice. We got her guns right here. Now, that is pretty cool. That is super awesome. We got her guns right here. I'm probably not going to take these out of the box, to be completely honest. I'm going to end up having to make a whole display for this. But, we got her guns right here. They actually have all the ones on here. So you got the parsley, the sage, the thyme, the rosemary. So that's pretty cool. Like I like that. Guys, these no, they're just regular. Yeah, no, they're just regular. They're not even a keychain. They're just the guns. That's actually pretty cool. Now I like that a lot. Now it's, so now we are down to the two pops. So I'm gonna try to take these out as carefully as I can. So we got Jean right here. Now, honestly, I haven't played the game in a very long time, as I'm pretty sure I said before. So I don't quite remember everything about it, to be completely honest, because I haven't played it since it first came out. And then I never actually got around to be able to play the second one. It's just, it never happened. I wanted to buy it. I wanted to play it. It just never really happened for me. But with the announcement of... I believe they are making the third one, so I gotta go back and I gotta play the other two, cause I gotta I gotta know the story. I gotta refresh my memory and be up to date on when they do come out with the third one. As far as I know, they are supposed to be coming out with the third one. Don't quote me on it. Let me know in the comment section down below if they are making the third one. I'm pretty sure they are, but a lot of things have been blurring together for me, so I'm not 100% sure. But yes, this is another GameStop exclusive that I have. I have Jean really cool i don't know if i want to take her out of box i'm going to take her out of box let's see what she looks like and then we'll get into the next one yes i know the way i take them out of the box is just it's going to damage the top of the box but for the most part i don't sell my pops i'm not trying to get it for the uh, monetary value i just really want it to have it in my collection but this is what she looks like out of box they even she even comes on the stand that's pretty cool I want to see if you guys can see she's got the the gun heels on her shoes 
that you know obviously in the game you can use those too as well when you're doing your fighting it's just it's all over the place with the guns but no that's really freaking cool they run into some good detail with this i like it oh she even got like the she even got oh not on that ear but she got earrings already she got an earring right there this is really cool they went into good detail with this i'm very happy with how this pop is looking and like i said it comes with the own little stand so it's already ready. So uh, honestly, I'm probably gonna put them. I'm gonna probably put them out of box. Yeah, it's probably gonna be put out of box. And uh, honestly, if you guys ever want to see like my full collection of The Office, just let me know down in the comment section below. I'm I'm be more than happy to make that into a video for you guys. It's it's not a lot, but it is a lot at the same time. If you know what I mean. But I will be more than happy to make that video for you guys. If that's something that you want to see, just let me know down below. And then the last pop we have is Bayonetta herself. And this is going to be what she looks like in box right there. Can't, can't complain. Oh, got a little crease up top already. More than likely a manufactured thing that happened at the uh, factory. I'm not too mad about it. It happens. You can't always expect to come in the best condition. It can't always be pristine condition. But. I think that's the only thing that's the only type of issue that it's got, really. Yeah, it's just a little indent decrease. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. It's going to be right here. But yeah, I don't know if you guys can actually see that or not. No, you can, yeah, no. Because it's like, the way it's at is like right there. Like right on where the gray and the white meet. So you can't really see it. Which works out fine for me too. Because that means no one else will be able to notice it. Unless you like actually fill the top. So we're going to take this one out of the box as well to see what this is looking like. Got a whole little pile of things happening over here, but that's okay. So we got Miss Bayonetta out right here. Oh, that is nice. That is freaking nice. That is awesome. I am loving this pop. Oh my God. Like just got the hair, got the ribbon. And for those of you that have played the game, you do know that her hair and her clothes are all one when it comes to the weapons. So it's kind of, it's kind of a risque type video game, but it was a pretty cool video game. Not going to lie. Had a good time with me and my friend growing up playing this game. Like I said, he's the one that had it because we had to share back and forth on different types of games that we had at the time. You know, growing up young, don't quite have the money like that. You got to rely on parents. I don't always want to help out, which is fine. They want you to make it on your own. But that is the Bayonetta pop for you guys right there. Also on her own stand. And she also has her nice little shoes with the guns on it. This is freaking amazing. Like, Funko, you are outdoing yourself right now. Like, you guys are killing the game with a lot of these pops. Like, I don't, I don't know what, what's going on. If you guys got, like, new people working for you or what may be or what the case may be. But you guys got some awesome pops happening right here. So, like, I'm going to show you these two again just really quickly. So, you got these two right here. Definitely going to have these out of box. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. They are going to be out of box. And I'm going to start working on that display. Not today, but tomorrow. Hopefully, after I get off work because it'll be... By the time I get done this video, it'll be like 11.40 at night. So, yeah, it's... It's not happening tonight. It'll be a tomorrow thing once I get home from work. And we'll see how I'm feeling from there. But that is all that I have for you guys tonight. It's not really today. So tonight that's all that I have for you guys. And again, I'm sorry my energy is not quite up there. But like I said, I'm tired. I've been up since like 6.30 this morning to get ready for work and everything like that. And I'm going to be back at it again tomorrow. But I shall see you guys in the next video. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a like. And let me know in the comment section down below if you want, if you're going to get the Bayonetta box, if you already got it, what do you think? Did you play the game? Were you a fan? Let me know down below. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.